decades was a book by Dale Carnegie called The Power of Positive Thinking. Absolutely. And people, I mean, this, this was, a, this was a, a, a manual and an inspiration for millions of people. And uh, I'm living a body of that. <laughs> <laughs> and, so, and so from what I can tell is it's pretty strong. It's interesting that it, as an actor, um, I, I search for the one thing that I connect to with the character. When, you know, before I play a character, I just I want to build on one thing. What is the what is the one connective idea, that connective tissue between myself and this character that I have in game? And Chris and I were both raised in very spiritual households, and we both believe wholeheartedly that our thoughts, our feelings, our dreams, our ideas are physical in the universe. That if we dream something, if we picture something, if we commit ourselves to it, that that is a physical thrust towards realization that we can put into the universe. That the universe is not a thing that's going to push us around. That the world and, and people and situations are not something that are going to push us around. That we are going to bend the universe and command and demand that the universe become what we want it to be. And it links back to a very uh, spiritual upbringing. Uh, for, for me, it was my, my mother and, and grandmother. And there's a, uh, there's a for Chris, it was, it was his mother. And uh, there's a term that Chris always used. I'm going to get it right, Chris. What do you call it? Uh, uh, spiritual genetics. That there is a spirit of a person, and he feels that they, it was his mother, and he has the spiritual genetics that his mother embodied, and that was the idea that was my, the, the first uh, connective tissue that I connected uh, to with, with, with Chris, and I, I so, you know, there, if there's one thing that people would walk away from this movie with, that that would be my, my deepest hope. The, uh, someone asked me a question of, uh, I was in Europe a, a few weeks ago promoting the movie, and the person asked me, what, what is my preoccupation with happy endings, right? And I was sort of thrown by that a little bit, you know. Am I preoccupied with happy endings? And the, the tone was as if that was unrealistic. And the question threw me because I, I feel like, don't we all want to have a ending? But is anybody sitting out there right now like, damn, I hope I get it by the time when I run outside? <laughs> you know, this, this night been too good, man. I just want somebody to run me to hell over when I walk out. You know? <laughs> and I feel like the first thing. You have to believe it, right? Like, you've got to believe that you can be married happily for 50 years if you ever expect to be married happily for 50 years. Like, you can't talk about how unrealistic it is. You, know, you can't talk about how unrealistic it is to be married happily for 50 years and expect it to happen. It's unrealistic to walk in a room and flip a switch and lights come on. That's unrealistic. Fortunately, Edison didn't think so. It's unrealistic to get into some... Hey! Security! <laughs> it's unrealistic to think you're going to bend a piece of metal and fly people over an ocean in that metal. That's unrealistic. But fortunately, the Wright brothers and others didn't didn't believe that, and it just seems it, it just seems like such a ridiculous idea to me to embrace the idea that it's not going to happen and that's not real for that to happen. As soon as you say it, now you just made that real. You know, I connect it to also with racism. People ask me about racism in Hollywood. Why? Would I acknowledge 
racism. When you acknowledge the, op the obstacle, you actually get it power by the acknowledgement of it. I'm going to walk through it. I'm going to walk over it. I'm going to Preoccupation is with the power that we all possess individually, and I refuse to relinquish my power. So my preoccupation with the happy ending is that is our power. The belief in that possibility is our power, and don't give it away. To us.